seemed a very nice lady, your Nana. Yes, she was. I remember you and Arthur dancing at the Christmas party probably 1937. I left the following year. Oh, and we thought times were difficult then. I know. The last war took my father. This one might have taken me if it wasn't for him. My mother's now glad for this failing. Understandable. But my other failing could still get me locked up. <laughs> Mr. Newby's leaving me today. He's joining the army. Really? It's happening again. We're losing the best of you. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the best at anything. I wish you well, Mr. Newby. I really do. May God keep you safe. We talk about past and histories, but what we mean is who we've been out with. Our past is who we've slept with. We get reduced to that. Because you want us to be apologetic. No, I don't. Don't you? Do you want me nervous too? Twitching at the curtains? Because we're not just talking, are we? You and me. I don't know. Yes, you do. And that's what frightens you. <coughs> well, dark corners, parks are one thing. But this? Just to be here. Yes. Just to sit and... Betrayal was more straightforward. See, this is why I didn't want to go out. Hey, you had a good time. Exactly. I'm sure if we try hard enough, we can still mess this evening up. Some fresh air. Take a walk out in the sky. Because nothing so good can last. 